Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to explore and really show you guys and, and teach some examples on cloning in a modern lighting console. And so this is um, kind of an addendum, kind of goes hand in hand with a post over on LearnStageLighting.com. So you should see that pop on the screen here any second. And uh, I want you to check that out too in association with this video because they really go hand in hand to talk about, okay, what is cloning and, and how can it really help me get ahead with my lighting and, and save a lot of time in my programming. And so this is going to work with any modern lighting console. Um, as you may be able to see, I'm using Martin's M series um, lighting software, and I'm also using a visualizer today to show you how this works. And so the first thing I want to just quickly touch on, and there's a lot more in the post about this is cloning is a tool in a modern lighting console that allows you to take a given fixture that's that's programmed into your show and copy all or, or some of its information some or all of its information to a brand new fixture and what this can do is make it really easy for you to say walk into a venue and bring their lights into your lighting show um, fairly effortlessly you know there's there's some touch up to do afterwards but it can save you hours of programming and the other cool thing it can do not only that first implication but the second thing it can do which is so cool is you can start with a template show file like i'm going to show you here and and literally get you know way ahead on programming your show and this is something i do on every show i do pretty much um is i take a template show file and i clone the fixtures of the show into it and it gets me started onto programming great. So let me actually show you around a little bit. The first thing I'll show you here is, is in my patch screen here at the bottom, I've got four fixtures. This is the simplest, easiest way to do this. Just simply a thousand one and a thousand two. And those are my CMY mixing uh, Mac Vipers and then 2001 and 2002. And those are some led units, some Mac auras. Okay. And I've patched them here at universe 100. You don't even have to patch them to an address. Um, just somewhere that that's not going to be in the way of your show, but still brings it into the show file. And then I've literally gone ahead, get out a patch here, and I've programmed a whole bunch of cue lists. So I've got cue lists across the bottom here. I've got um, a whole bank of cue lists on the playback buttons here, just some colors and positions. And then all of these colors and positions are also mapped to presets inside the console okay so we got position presets we got color presets we got a couple gobos got beam presets okay and so what this is what this is going to allow me to do is as i show you in a second here in the visualizer i'm literally going to take these two fixtures in my patch again going back here these these four fixtures rather two fixtures of each type two so that i can have two color combinations um you know uh, a cues with two colors in them and I'm literally going to go ahead and clone these fixtures to my show's fixtures, which I've patched here. All right. So let me go ahead and do that. And then we'll come back and uh, talk about some more. All right. Now we're back here. And so what I've done is I've just gone in here into M series and I've patched, um, I've taken my clone commands. I've entered them all in. So I've got 2001 and 2002. That's my um, LED units copying to my 300 series, which is my LED washes, and my 400 series, which is my LED um, um, just park hands. And I've mirrored this, okay? So the O1 fixture is generally my outside fixtures, and the O2 fixture is my inside fixtures. And so I've said, okay, you know, O1, you know, 301, th so the 2001 fixture, is, is my first color combination. And so that's going to copy to 301, 303, and then 304, and then 306, 89, um, because that's mirrored because I've got six of those units on the back truss here on my visualizer. And then I've done the same uh, for my LED pars. Again, I've got four of those. So, you know, the first fixture, the 2001 is for these outside two. The 2002 is for these inner two guys. And then I did the same with my moving head spots, my CMY mixing units. I've gone ahead and I've put them mirrored again, set the clone commands up. And so if we did this all right, we're going to press execute commands here. Let the console do its thing. 
Then when it's done, which of course always goes slower when you're recording a video, we'll go check our work. So here I'm going to pop out of this here and just start bringing up some of these playbacks. So I'll start bringing up these playbacks. And so we can see, all right, first things first, the intensity is working on everything. So we're able to bring up these intensity faders that I had and I'm getting intensity up. Then here I'm going to start playing back some of these presets. Now, there's something we can see here is we're bringing in these presets and we see that the position presets look pretty terrible. They're not quite mirror. Some of them are, some of them are okay, but some of them uh, definitely need touched up. Similarly, let's, but let's go to the color. All right. So with all our color cues here, they're all working great. And so we can see here that I can literally, you know, click any of these and I'm getting the color combinations that I asked for. Um, they're coming in there, which looks great. So I could just click any of these different color combinations, get things going there. It looks like I did mess up my cloning a little bit, but that's going to be okay. And so now we're going to go ahead. And the next thing I'm going to do is just go in there and update all the presets so that it looks a lot better. All right, guys. So now what we've done is we started with going in and looking at our clone fixtures that I had from a show file I'd previously created. And I've done this a few ways before, actually. I've literally gone from scratch and just built a cloning show. In this particular example, I opened up an old show file from a show I did, um, just a kind of generic music show um, from some band I didn't know. And I took the, and I dumbed down the fixtures. I just grabbed two of my moving uh, heads with CMY mixing and two of my moving heads with RGB mixing. And I deleted everything else out of the patch and made those my clone fixtures. And then I went in, second step of this cloning, is we went in and we matched everything up and we cloned, okay? And this is pretty essential to do right. After that, the next thing I just did was I spent about 20 minutes leisurely going through and just updating my presets here in the visualizer. And you can do this live on stage as well. So this is great. And this is a really great illustration because overall I've invested about 30 minutes of time, um, say on show site here where I loaded up my clone file. I brought in my fixtures and you can do this from home if you have the patch ahead of time. And I, I literally just cloned everything in. And then the, the show site part is I updated my presets about 30 minutes of programming time. And now I've got a show that I could punt off of. It's not perfect. Um, I kind of did this the quick and dirty way just to show you how this works, but just to give you an idea of what's going on, now that I cleaned up my presets, I can see, okay, you know, I've got all my various moving light positions that I've programmed here, my combinations. I've got my colors here and they all work. Let's do something different. I've got some gobos here, all right. And so let's just pop into a green blue here. You know, I've got my gobos here. I got two gobos and open. I've got some various color combinations. You know, this is something I could work off of. And I've got some faders here at the bottom to control some various things. All right. And now the one last thing I want to do in this video is I want to show you guys now taking this one step further. So we've cloned from our template show to the actual show we're going to do. And I know this video is getting kind of long, but hang in here because this is good. And now I want to go ahead and take, okay, now I've got my lights set in the visualizer. I've got them how I like them. Now I walk in, oh, look, there's four Mac 2Ks hung on a mid-stage truss in this venue. And I want to clone those in. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set up my clone, and I'm going to show you how to clone these in to your existing show file. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just go over to my patch. I'm going to go in and patch my Mac 2Ks. All right, so I patched them and I saw them turn in the visualizer, which means they're working. Now I'm going to clone them. So what I'm actually going to do for this is I'm not going to use my clone fixtures because I, I, it's going to be easier to work with the palettes that I already have. And so I'm going to go ahead and just use my four upstage vipers, okay? And so in this uh, particular show file, that's 105 through 108. So I'm going to set that up in my clone window. Perfect. Now I'm just going to clone everything on them. So I see everything's set up right. Press the magic button. Watch it go. And I see as the console is cloning, I might actually see this in the visualizer piece by piece. It's kind of cool to watch. 
I see everything cloning in. So now I can go ahead, close my patch, and I can see here, okay, as I change color combinations here, those four fixtures are, are totally following everything in the show file. Now they don't have gobos, okay? However, actually they do have gobos. They recorded that in, but it doesn't line up right. So really the only thing that I would have to do from this point on is, you know, I've got positions that are working because they're oriented the same way and I've set that up. You know, I've got colors going because they're both CMY mixing fixtures. And so now the only thing that I have to do here really all I have to do is really just go ahead, update those gobo presets, maybe create a fader to control the intensity of just those new Mac 2Ks. And, you know, within just five, 10 minutes, I've got that house rig into my system and it's all programmed into every queue that I've made. And so with that guys, I kind of want to leave you uh, with a couple things from this video. One, if you haven't checked out cloning before, check to figure out how your console does it and use this video as a little bit of a jumpstart of a guide to get you started um, feeling comfortable with cloning because it takes a little while. Then if you're looking for a little more uh, high detail information, exact step-by-step -step guides on how to do this and how to sh set up a really great show for punting for running lights live to music, inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs, I actually have a full action plan called Puntastic clone. I'm going to show some images from it here on the screen and I'd love for you to check that out and and consider joining Learn Stage Lighting Labs because inside we've got not only the training, the step-by-step -step instructions that you need to learn this stuff, to learn how to run lights live, but the support in our interactive user forums. And so check that out. Go check out the whole post on this over at learnstagelighting.com. I've got the link below as well as here on the video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.